In this example, so I'm going to show you how to create a central symmetry using the GeoGebra program. Okay, to start off with, I'm going to insert in an image, a JPEG image. I'm going to set the coordinates of that image. Then I'll create a central symmetry, and then I'll translate our object through the central symmetry to create our new image. So firstly, I'm going to go to the point option, and I'm going to select myself a number of points. I'm going with 2, 6, 2, 4, and 4, 4. Okay, they are my points. Okay, I might actually index each of them as well. I could rename. No, that's okay. I will go with this with rename to B. It's fine. I just hadn't selected the um, each option in. If we could go here, we can have options, labeling. You could instead of no new objects, I should have selected new points only. Okay, that's an option that you can take. And finally, this last one we just wanted to we'll give that point C. Oops. So we want to rename this. We can just go with rename point C. Okay, cancel out of that. That's fine. So what we want to do now, and we want to go here. The drop down instead of text A B C. What I want to do is I want to insert an image. What image do I want to do? So I select the point, as it says here, our little hint, click on the graphics view or on point to specify the position. So I would like to specify my position here, the bottom left corner at B, and automatically then it comes to my documents what I might want to insert in. I'm going to bring in the caption of Bart Simpson. It's a, an image like so. We can open that up. And you'll see at the moment, okay, if we scroll up, we can drag our image. That image currently is much larger than what I have my coordinates A, B, and C. So if I just click on my image and I go right click, down the bottom here is object properties. So we can change the properties of this. So by selecting picture one, I want to look at the position of this. So corner one is at B. I would like to make corner two will be our corner C. And top corner forward end, which is the top left, I'm going to make that corner A. So if we have a look at that, we close that. What we now have is we have this Bart Simpson image. And here that we have that, and we have that in a much smaller scale, down to our coordinates, like so. Mm -hmm. What you can do, if I wanted, I could change. I can rotate around like that. If I escape, I could literally change. Graphics point A. Indeed, I might. I think it's a better image if I change it from there. If I give it a greater scope, like so. And that there is my image. Right. That's our Bart Simpson inserted in with our coordinate points A, B, and C. So all they are is they're setting the parameters for the size of the image that we're going to use. Now we could put a perimeter around that. If that highlights up, we could put a perimeter around that in a line. Um, but I don't think there's any need in this image. Escape so. For the principle of what we're trying to show here, it's our central symmetry. So I might just make a note of that. So on top here, we're looking at central symmetry. So obviously, what we're talking about is we have an object, and we want to translate that object through a central point to create its image. So in order to do that, we need to create we need to create a center of symmetry. But we could do two things. We could draw a line, and we could find the midpoint of that line and use that as our center of symmetry. Or in this example, I'm just going to keep it very basic, and I'm going to insert in a point. Okay, I've selected my point view here, and I am going to select, and keep it away from the center a little bit. Okay, if I select, I'm going to select an image here. That there is going to be my point. I'm going to rename this point. Instead of point E, I'll rename that. I'm going to call that my center of symmetry. Center of symmetry. That is my central axis. That there is my center, which I'm going to I'm going to transfer translate this image through that center to create its new image, like so. What I could do to show the difference, though, we will have A, B, C, and I can just put it on options. Labeling, I'm going to add all new points. 
So all new points will be labeled once I do a translation. So what we want, we want to look at our movement tools, our transformation tools. Okay, this is our option here. This is reflecting our objects for our transformations. Or we can go to tools, transformation tools, and for a central symmetry, what is going to be our best option? So we have a number. We can reflect a, an object in a line. We can reflect an object in a point. Reflect it in a circle. Rotate it about or around the point by an angle, and we can translate them by vectors. In this case, one central symmetry, what we want to do is reflect an object in a point. So our point is our center of symmetry, our object is the picture. So if I just, I'll bring through point A through our center of symmetry first, and it translate out through A1. What happens is you bring a line from A exactly through your center, and you measure the exact same distance from your center to here, it steps off the exact same distance out. So just to maybe enhance that, we could have a line through two points. I'll call it, no, we'll do a ray through two points. I'm going to change, change the structure of the line, dash line, and I'm going to change the color as well. We'll put that in red. So literally from me, through my center here. That's the escape of that. What do I want to do? I'm going to do the exact same, my other points. I'm going to bring a line through B, through my center and extend that on out. The exact same type of line. What I need to do now though is I need to transfer points B and C through my center of symmetry and step them off the exact same distance. So in order to do that, we just reflect an object in a point. I'm going to reflect point B through my center and that's going to step out the exact same distance, giving me B1. And I'm going to reflect C through my center of symmetry. And that's going to step out the exact same distance, giving me C1. What do I want to do then? I want to create the image, the reflected image, through my center of the Bart Simpson character. So I select the image, select my center, and my image is transferred and reflected through my center of symmetry, giving me my new image here. What you'll notice about the image, it's inverted, it's been turned upside down, and it is facing the opposite direction. So point C, was closest to my center will remain closest to my center. So the image has been has been reflected and inverted around the center of symmetry. If we just take a larger view of that then, we can look at that. I'm just going to deselect the graphics bar and deselect the grid bar. So what we can still see, you can still see the trace of A, B and C. They're lined up with A1, B1 and C1 through my center of symmetry. So if I was to alternate the center, you can see that now. We might just enlarge that to show it on screen. If I, any time I move my center of symmetry, the object and image translate relative to each other. It's the exact same principle. So all points will travel through the center of symmetry. Same distance, they are away from the center. You'll step that off on a projection line to your point and your image becomes inverted. So we can literally see with the mouse, and you can try this yourselves, move your image around, manipulate it so that you can see it. Also, if you decide to move any point on your image, that exactly changes in the same regard. Okay. You can clearly establish the relationship there, the visual learning between transformation geometry using a central symmetry. The principle is the same, and it's about understanding the concepts and putting them into practice. Okay.